Hello everyone, this is Asian with Jeep and welcome to my Black Ops 4 multiplayer guide. For this video, we'll be taking a look at the FMJ attachment. First appeared in Modern Warfare 2, the FMJ boosts the penetration power of your bullets when shooting through surfaces. The FMJ in Black Ops 4 offers more benefit beyond increased bullet penetration, as it also gains an ability to destroy an armor. Despite the in-game stats showing the damage increase, the FMJ does not grant any extra damage boost at all. Without the FMJ attachment, you will need extra shots to kill an opponent through thin covers, such as plywood and sheet metal. And it is impossible to penetrate thicker covers, such as concrete or brick walls. You can kill the protected enemy hiding behind two thin layers of cover, with the same penalty as you shooting through the single cover. But your bullet will deal no damage if you attempt to strike through three or more layers. Against the armor users, you need one or two shots to destroy the armor before you can damage your opponent's health. Weapons of Black Ops 4 have their own set of attachments, even within the same class, so not all weapons share the same attachments. The FMJ-1 is available for the ICR-1, Rampart-17, MX-9, Spitfire, Cordite, Augur, Swordfish, Titan, Hades, Paladin HB-50, SDM, and Strife. The FMJ-2 attachment is available for the Rampart-17, Cordite, Augur, Titan, Paladin HB-50, and Strife. To equip the FMJ-2 attachment, you must have the FMJ-1 attachment as well, which will require 2 points in your Big 10 class. The effects of the FMJ-1 will grant you fewer shots to kill through surfaces, usually by 1 or 2 for most weapons. It will also enable you to shoot through thicker covers like concrete and brick walls with the assault rifles, tactical rifles, LMG and sniper rifles. Against the armor, your bullet will damage your opponent's health and ignore the armor's defense. Against the score streaks and equipment, you will be able to take them out with roughly 60 to 75% amount of your shots than without the attachment. If you have both FMJ1 and 2, the FMJ2 will enhance the penetration power against thicker covers, with one or two extra shots to kill for most weapons. And it is possible to shoot through two layers of thick cover. The pistols and SMGs also receive this benefit, whereas with the FMJ1, these weapons cannot shoot through thicker walls whatsoever. Note that you don't gain extra penetration power when shooting through thin covers with the FMJ2. It will require the same amount of shots compared to the FMJ-1. Against the score streaks and equipment, you need about roughly half number of your shots than without the attachment. The penetration power of the FMJ varies with the weapon classes. Let's take a look at each of them. The pistols and submachine guns have the lowest penetrative force. While you can shoot through thin covers, these weapons will require many shots to kill as their damage are heavily reduced when piercing through plywood or sheet metal. With the FMJ-1, you need 2 to 4 extra shots to kill, depending on where you fire the weapon from. But you cannot shoot through thick covers unless you have both FMJ-1 and 2 equipped, which opens up the ability to shoot through toughest covers like brick walls, and will require 2 to 4 extra shots to kill just like the FMJ-1 when shooting through sheet metal or wood panel. The Stripe is the only pistol to have both FMJs, and thanks to high damage up close, you may not need extra shots when shooting through sheet metal if you are within close range combat. But can be tough to use given that you need to pull the trigger for each shot, as the Stripe pistol fires semi-automatically. The Cordite is the only SMG with both FMJ-1 and 2. Blessed with high magazine and good fire rate, you can continuously suppress through most covers in order to saturate the hidden target. Pair the FMJ with either the extended magazine or belt feed operator mod, and you can liberally spray the cordite against the enemies hiding behind surfaces with near bottomless large magazine size. The assault and tactical rifles have moderate penetration level 
and against thin covers, you need about 2 to 3 extra shots to kill against a protected enemy. And like the SMGs and pistols, you cannot shoot through thick walls with the assault and tactical rifles. With the FMJ-1, you need 1 to 2 extra shots to kill through thin walls, plus an ability to shoot through thicker covers, with 2 to 3 extra shots required. And the FMJ-2 will reduce the number of shots you needed to kill by 1 when tackling the enemy hiding behind brick or concrete walls. The Rampart 17 is the only assault rifle that has both FMJ-1 and 2. Paired with high damage, you can tackle the enemy quickly through the thickest cover. You can also combine the FMJ and high caliber to further decrease the time to kill, even through walls. The Augur is the only tactical rifle with the FMJ-1 and 2 on offer. While it is a single shot rifle, the Augur comes with high damage. And like the Rampart, you can equip both FMJ and high caliber to quickly kill the enemy hiding behind walls. The LMGs have an elevated penetration power, with about 1 or 2 extra shots to kill against the enemy behind thin cover. Unfortunately, it cannot tackle through brick or concrete walls. With the FMJ-1, you won't need extra bullets to kill the enemy hiding behind soft covers, though you might need one extra shot with the Hades. You can penetrate the thicker cover with the FMJ-1, and will require 2 or 3 extra shots to kill. The FMJ-2 reduces the amount of shots to kill through thick surfaces by one shot. The Titan is the only LMG with the FMJ-1 and 2. And with high damage and magazine size, you can easily shred anyone fleeing into a total cover with an ability to suppress the enemy, especially with the extended magazine to prolong your fun. The sniper rifle has the highest penetration level, and thanks to its already high damage, you can kill the protected opponent behind thin walls with just one shot, assuming you hit the body parts with higher multiplier. In order to shoot through thicker surfaces, you need the FMJ-1 attachment. Unfortunately, one-shot kill is not possible even if you aim for the head. To make this happen, you need the FMJ-2, which will enable you to get the one-shot kill through thick walls if you attain the headshot. So, the FMJ for the sniper rifles are only useful if the enemy is injured and subsequently escaped to a cover. The Paladin HB-50 is the only sniper rifle with the FMJ-1 and 2. Given the slow fire rate of the bolt action, it may be best to hit the exposed enemy in the open, rather than blindly fire the weapon through thick walls. And the enemy will usually have enough time to flee somewhere else after your first shot. Given that you can kill the enemy behind thin walls without the attachment, it may be best to keep the FMJ a miss. But the STM semi-automatic sniper rifle is better suited as you can repeatedly fire the follow-up shots, and you'll need 2 or 3 shots to kill the enemy behind walls. Should you wish to embrace your class setup with the FMJs, you want to use Recon as your specialist, as you gain the ability to use the Vision Pulse, which allows you to see the enemy through walls. The Engineer perk is also nice to have, with the ability to see the enemy score streaks and equipment throughout the world, and you can destroy them quicker with the FMJ. Overall, the FMJ offers increased penetration power against the covers, along with abilities to destroy the armor swiftly and deals more damage against the enemy's equipment and score streaks. While the FMJ has no downsides, this attachment is only useful under some circumstances, such as when you run into games with many armored enemy players, or when playing objective game modes where the enemy positions are easier to predict. Regardless of this, the FMJ is a universally beneficial attachment, and can make a difference even with lower damage weapons, which may help secure a kill in cases where the enemy escaped to a cover. And that concludes the guide for the FMJ attachment. This is Asian with Jeep. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.